to Old Faithful. I'm your host, Matt Trask. Thanks to Haggerty's Music Works. Up on the, look for the left and right hand of Stratocaster on the hill here in Rapid City. Thanks, as always, to Johnny Hastings, making me look good. Behind the camera, please support my friends at Black Hills Blend Espresso for convenient locations here in Rapid City. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Matthew Trask. If you, in fact, like this channel, and right after you watch this video, please go subscribe to the Hagedy's Music Works channel. They're doing fabulous work here. We have a guy on the show that I don't know well, but he had an interesting guitar, and I said, you've got to be on the show. I met him at the Iron Phoenix open mic night. All right. He told me how to say your name, Keith Treatley. Yep, most people just call me Keith. All right. But we had to throw the last name okay. in for the show. Treely it is. So this is the part of the show where I tell you to tell us about you. All right. With well, the emphasis on your musical journey. Or sure. Whatever. My musical journey, I think it started at birth. That's probably my earliest memory is probably a song. Okay. So, so I think I inherited it. Um, I've always loved uh, various types of instruments. Um, I played guitar for a lot of my life. A lot of other things, a lot of acoustic things, mm -hmm. and some uh, folk instruments and things have kind of dragged me along. And I, I saw uh, a couple of years ago um, a YouTube video of somebody playing his, one of my favorite rock songs, but on a cigar box guitar. Oh! And so I kind of looked into the cigar box guitars and I found out a neat history of them. I found out that they are an ultimate folk instrument made with a repurposed um, Cigar boxes, as sure. you can imagine. This is actually a cigar box, a real cigar box. It does have an overlay, a vinyl overlay for the decor, but it's a, it's a real cigar box. Wow. This is Arturo Fuente. It's a thin box. These are really nice for this kind of instrument. Gives a lot of room for the musician here, and you'll see that it actually works as a sound box. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, so I, I I was I gravitated toward these after right. seeing them. I bought my first one and really fell in love with the tone of it. Sure. And um, I did learn a little bit about uh, alternative tunings, and that's what I get out of this. Is a For musicians, it's an open G tuning. Okay. And it allows, uh, allows a little better sound to come out for people like me that are handicapped <laughs> in, the, in the music reading department. His words, so. not mine. So <laughs> we have him plugged into the Princeton Reverb back here, which is for sale. Please don't buy it because we need it. Um, but if you turn the volume off, can you still hear the thing? Oh, well, sure. This, this one is an acoustic. Box. Sure. Okay. Um, so right. if you'd like, you can go ahead and turn the sound down on it. And... Um, I'll, I'll let you hear what it sounds like. Okay, I don't know if the mic will pick this up, but we'll try it. It may. There you go. That's great. Uh, without any any uh, amplification and this one just has a piezoelectric uh, pickup in it just sure. a very very simple one right. um, but I do have a few uh, cigar box guitars that are fully electric and oh, I think okay. I mentioned one too that's got a, just a beautiful uh, pickup in it for, mm -hmm. for again for musicians very nice uh, p90 pickup in it so it can really jam for oh, yeah. people that know how to play did it. Did you but, uh, learn your favorite rock song on I, a cigar box I guitar? Didn't. No. You did not. <laughs> well dang it. Are you from here? Um, I have lived here um, previously. I lived here when I was young. Okay. Um, I'm not from here. Okay. But I lived here in the early 70s. All right. And um, was just, uh, it was just amazing to get an opportunity to come back here and um, resettle in a place that I remembered and I loved for my youth. Well, awesome. And uh, it, it's just beautiful here. So I plan to stay here, actually. Here, by the way, for my global audience, uh, is Rapid City, South Dakota. Um, so have you, over the years, been in any bands or anything? Uh, none that I would admit to and none that ever paid me. No. Oh, okay. So, uh, All right. I understand completely. Was your family musical? Uh, uh, all of them. Uh, yeah. My, my, uh, all my mom's side was very musical. Um, my grandpa and all and his brothers, one of them 
was known to play with Chet Atkins, and oh, even wow. further back, they go back to uh, some very Appalachian roots, some okay. very, very big Appalachian roots, and and uh, they were some of the uh, early jug band people. Oh, so, so this was uh, kind of a return. For it you. is. It is. The the cigar box guitar. It is. I think my grandpa would be pleased, and, oh, yeah. and my great uncles. And do you so. remember what the first guitar you had was, or had access to? I had a, uh, well, my first one was actually a little ukulele with a handle on it, and you could turn it and spin it like this, right, Johnny? <laughs> yeah, I think I saw one over here. Um, yeah, uh, the the actual uh, first one I had was a uh, uh, a beautiful uh, folk six-string hand-me-down steel one from my brother. It was an old Harmony. Okay. And I didn't really know what I had in it uh, when I bought it. So. Right. <laughs> But I loved that guitar, and it always treated me well. Oh, so yeah. I went with a uh, classical guitar shortly thereafter and grew up trying to play Spanish classical, which I did learn is very difficult on a three-string cigar box guitar. It can be difficult, <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, someday I'll, I'll, uh, I'll play a Spanish classical song on here. <laughs> we are looking forward to it. We will have you back when you learn Asturias yeah. on the Great. cigar box guitar. A serious Spanish tune on the yeah. cigar box guitar. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I better get going. So I better get practicing. This is, in fact, a cigar box guitar. Uh, the history of guitar is uh, many people couldn't afford a guitar out of the Sears and Ward catalog or go That's to the right. store or whatever. And so right. they, they made guitars out of all kinds of things. Um, they did. Cigar boxes, gourds, oil cans. Mm -hmm. I have personally seen a guitar made out of a shovel. Uh-huh. Um, I've seen one. <laughs> so, but you did not make this. There this, are now several companies that make these. There are. Somewhat this, ironically. Yep, this one was made by a company in New Hampshire uh, that... Uh, really has gone big with standard, easy-to-play, entry-level mm -hmm. guitars. Um, but this is a bolt-on neck, just for you to know, a little different than most of them. But it allows that you can see the neck goes all the way through to the end. Here. It so does. It's bringing the strings a large, a long way. Right. And a flying bridge here really makes a difference and transfers, as supposed to, the tone, the vibrations okay. to the sound right. board. Sure. So it does work. Uh, pretty well in that way. These came from, were really popularized during the 1920s, I think, in the New Orleans area. Mm -hmm. Street kids, street people, street performers, again, improvising, picking up what they can. Yeah, exactly. So about the, they're about 100 years old, uh, uh, the design, the, act, the standard design of these. Sure. There's a rumor of one uh, from Civil War area. There's a, a picture of a guy playing one in, during the Civil War. Well, there had so, to have been a few before 100 years ago. The making poor people music. out in the backwoods working right. a guitar. And yep. You said this has a bolt-on neck and you kind of indicated that was unusual. How are most of them made? A lot of them are the neck stops right here at the edge of the box. Okay. And you don't have the sound transferring oh, from okay. all the string all right. part of the neck. Sure. So this is a little, little, little different. So, but they're all different in a way. Okay. There, there's sure. a lot of different styles. And like you said, you can get guitars made out of just about anything. You really there's can. There's some really creative yeah. people. You will find there's some really good artisans out there that have gotten into cigar box guitars. Yeah. And you can now spend. Um, a lot of money. Again, uh, somewhat ironically. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you could probably waste uh, 12 hours of your life on reverb looking at yeah. cigar box. Or you can buy guitars. one uh, a kit for $50 online and build it and um, just have a good time. Have we it. tried that yet? I have. I've, I've built one. Really? Yes. Does it work? It, it did does. you do a good job? It did quite well. Whoa. Uh, it didn't have any electronics. Okay. So I don't use it for um, engagements or right. anything, so well, yeah, it was really fun. It was easy, yeah, and you can design them how you want. Maybe next we'll have to run to the tinder box and out to the creek and get you a cigar box and a stick and see how you can do. I think that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned this. This one is tuned in open G. Again, we have three strings, so we can make our major, minor, 
augmented mm -hmm. and diminished chords. Actually, what I've done on this one, Matt, just to make it stranger, is again just to take advantage of the the deep tone on right. this. Right. I've down tuned it. It's now tuned to uh, E B E. Okay. It's the same relationship to G D G. Sure. So. All right. Just well, a little lower and just a little more throaty. That was That's where I going. was going. Right. What What was your tuning? So you you started in. No, name those notes. The again. standard recommended tuning for cigar box guitars, or the one that's just been popular for people, is G D G. G D G. Correct. So yeah. it's essentially a power chord. Now I'm getting a exactly. little wonky. Not a true one three five chord. Okay. One. Yeah. But it is a an open chord. Right. Yes. It is. It's a power chord. Yeah. Yeah. Have you tried any other tunings? Not yet. No. No. <laughs> are, are there any other popular tunings? I am not sure about really? that. I am not sure. We're getting a touch wonky now, mm -hmm. aren't we? Yeah. So, do we have anything more that we need to talk about? Um, How many of these do you have now? Oh, now we're getting to the confessions. Oh. Uh, I think I have nine of them. Does that... That doesn't include the one that's on the way in the mail. No, no, it doesn't include. Technically, I have nine at this okay. moment. Okay, all right, sounds good. Do we have any <laughs> traditional six-string guitars? We do. Yeah. Uh, do we have six of those. Do we have anything else that we need to bring on the show? I play bass guitar. Okay. I've, I've uh, really had a lot of fun with electronic keyboard. Okay. Had a very fun time with that. I picked up an antique... Uh, pump organ, a reed organ, a wow. few years ago, and uh, got a good deal on it because it wasn't working, mm -hmm. and I took it apart, and I figured out what wasn't working, and I fixed it, and the thing just plays beautifully. That is fun. Johnny Hastings, we may have to do a remote broadcast of the <laughs> show. Because that's a few <laughs> hundred pounds, Johnny. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> uh, well, it yeah. was very nice meeting you. Very nice to meet you. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. Thank Absolutely. you to Haggerty's and, and Johnny. and you, you guys are great. I met you at the open mic. You've been attending some open mics. Are you going to yeah. try and get some gigs in the near term? Um, I just uh, hadn't really planned on gigs. Um, I don't think people have the patience to play with me. So, <laughs> uh, I'd be up there by myself. Right. So... Um, Sometime it may happen. Right. So, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Well, stay tuned. Uh, have you written any songs? I guess Many. I never asked you that. Many songs. Okay. Mm -hmm. can, can you could play on this? Yeah. Okay. Sounds uh, good. I'd like to have a female voice. Where is she? Uh, we, <laughs> we're fresh out of there. Here. <laughs> uh, I thought we talked. <laughs> we did talk, yeah. Um, let's see, what am I what am I doing here? I got so excited about cigar box you talk. Oh uh, <laughs> remember my sponsorship with Trask K L L C large round and square bales and custom haying. Five one five zero eight five eight. We're getting some rain. You may need some hay put up. And I have no idea. Brushy one string says change your string. Change your string. Change your string. He plays one string, you know. Uh, yeah. Do you know who Brushy One String is? Mm -hmm. You'll have no. to look him up. I'm going to find him. Okay, sounds good. Are you ready to play for us, Mr. I get Keith to play Keith. for you. I'll play some songs. I, I'll play a song I wrote. Okay, sounds so good. So I'm not going to sing it. All right. I'm going to play the song I wrote. Perfect. So, uh, I like it. Just, again, this is one that, that it just sounds folksy. It's one that I know my grandparents would have been out there singing and 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 playing and uh, hey. the, the the guy with the jug right he was on my family too sure yeah, they jug the guy all. with the spoons but um this one will just show i think the 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 that folky sound sure that I, the particular reason i like this guitar, so, so very deep and rich sound is what we're looking for okay <laughs> 